Now let us talk about uh, steganography. This word steganography literally means covered writing as derived from Greek word. So steganography is the art of concealing the existence of information within seemingly innocuous carriers. In broad sense, the term steganography is used for hiding message within a message. So steganography is art and science of communicating in a way which hides the existence of the communication. In contrast to cryptography, where the enemy is allowed to detect, intercept and modify messages without being able to violate certain security promises granted by the crypto system, the goal of steganography is different. The goal of steganography is to hide messages with inside other harmless message in a way that does not allow an, any enemy to even detect. Here we are allowing detection. Here we are not even allowing the detection that there is a second secret message present. So steganography is in uh, the literature also referred to as transmission security or in short transsec evolution of steganography let us start with code breakers david can the code breakers and bruce norman secret warfare the battle of codes and cipher accounts numerous tales of steganography it was all there in literature then invisible ink and innocent letter may contain many or very different messages written under the line or between the lines with invisible ink. So common resources for invisible inks were at that time milk, vinegar, fruit juices and even urine. So all these darken when heated. Later on more sophisticated inks were developed which react to various chemicals. Then came the micro dots. The German developed the micro dot technology. So micro dots are photographs the size of a printed period having the clarity of standard size type uh, written pages. So the first micro dots were discovered masquerading as a period on a type envelope carried by a German agent in 1941. So the message was not hidden nor encrypted. It was just so small as not to draw attention to itself. It was very small. And besides being so small, microdots permitted the transmission of large amounts of data including drawings and photographs. There are various types of uh, steganography. We have messages in text, we have messages in still images, messages in audio data which is hidden in layer 3 of encoding process of mp3 file and messages in audios are always sent along the ambient noise then messages in videos embedding information into multimedia data so this is just an example please read through this uh, paragraph now i have tried to underline some words if i combine them it says send lawyers guns and money this is also a type of you know making message or creating message inside a message. So most communication channels like telephone lines and radio broadcast, they transmit signals which are always accompanied by some kind of noise. So this noise can be replaced by a secret signal that has been transformed into a form that is indistinguishable from the noise without knowledge of a secret key. And this way, the secret signal can be transmitted undetectable. Then digital steganography, this is the art of hiding data in a file so that only the sender and intended recipient suspect the presence of hidden data. Uh, this is a form of security through obscurity. This is an image and famous Mona Lisa image, then confidential information this is embedded. Now we have a stego image. This is very easy to accomplish, harder to detect and decrypt. Most of the file format you can perform digital steganography. One of the method, let me just highlight it. Or uh, this is LSB method, most common form of digital steganography. 
so how uh, this is performed in a rgb image information is hidden in the lsv of the rgb values of each pixel say in a 24 bit bitmap each pixel uh, is represented by three bytes how 8 bit uh, bits represent red value that means 250 shades of uh, red then again 256 shades of green and this 256 shade of blue this these are all possible colors so effectively have three to four bits of data to hide information in for every pixel let's see how we have eight bit for r we have eight bit means one two three four five six seven eight this goes for g this goes for b now this is the least significant digit or you can say this whichever way you look these significant or least significant bits can be used to transfer your data or transfer your hidden information so this is a 32 bit pixel format contains an alpha channel and 8 required for ASCII character this is how your RGB channel looks like and where this is inside this is outside this is just an example which I am showing and in this without being getting detected you can just sneak in just three bytes or three bit out of three bit out of this eight 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 is a 24 so 24 bit you can use your three bit to have this uh, message or steganography attained in your digital perception so this is color perception and this is changing the lsb uh, of the red value by one so in 24 bit uh, color depth which just i mentioned this is undetectable by the human eye i just wanted to show you the example this is undetectable for example if you take some image from some camera phone uh, 41 megapixel camera phone say we have 41 megapixel and these are three pixels per byte so 13.66 mb of data can be hidden in a single image right in just this amount of data can be because we are just using three pixels uh, per byte uh, this is how your uh, idea of digital steganography takes place this is also jpeg steganography one, one more example i wanted to highlight so this is most common image format that is why i am speaking out about this uh, this has a lossy compression this is dct and this uh, it uses type 2 dct to achieve compression so neighboring pixels typically have similar color values and information less important to human eye is discarded so how does we do it in steganography in jpeg steganographic method work by manipulating and rounding in the dct coefficient matrix of a jpeg file so at this point at this juncture means manipulating rounding in the dct coefficient matrix of a jpeg file steganography can be attained then we have this uh, network steganography this modifying the network packets header or payload in tcp uh, ip networks unused bit in the ip and tcp header may be used that packet based length uh, steganography first was this second was this manipulation of the empty that is maximum transmission unit then VoIP, voice over ip lost audio packet steganography method lack lsek so transmitter intentionally delays packet by an excessive amount of time and payload of these lost packets contain the secret information this is how it is done on wipe so these are few methods in network steganography so this cryptography it is very similar to steganography both are hiding data though both are concealing data so steganography can be viewed uh, as a key to cryptography and both of both of and have been used throughout recorded history as means of protecting information so at times these two technologies seems to converge while the objectives of the two are different cryptography techniques scramble message so if intercepted the 
message cannot be understood. While this trigonography, in essence, camouflages a message to hide its existence and make it seem invisible, thus concealing the fact that the message is being sent altogether. An encrypted message may draw suspicion, while an invisible message will not. So, technography cannot be detected and therefore it is used when encryption is not permitted. And more commonly, technography is used to supplement encryption, if we say in other words. So, an encrypted file may still hide information using technography. So, even if the encrypted file is deciphered, the hidden message may not. What is now Stegen analysis or Stega analysis? The art of detecting, decoding and altering message hidden via steganography is called Stega analysis and it is easiest when before as well as after steganography copies of file are present. So Stega analysis can make the hidden data work against the creator any malicious interceptor could alter as carrier file without the knowledge of the sender or the intended receiver. Hence, accurate, inaccurate or wrong data could be passed under identity of the original sender. So, some facts are there. The Stegos or Steganos security suit for uses uh, powerful 128-bit encryption. This is uh, one of the examples which I wanted to highlight that these are present for your use. And it would take 1 million powerful computer millions of years to try every combination to gain access to your personal information. So this is, there are softwares and one of the software which I just highlighted uses technography along, along with encryption to completely secure your data. And Blindsight is uh, again one of the applications of technography that allows you to conceal a single image or set of files within a standard computer image. And the new image looks identical to the original but can contain up to 50k of data. So the hidden files can also be password encrypted to prevent unauthorized access. And this mp3 stego, it, this is also um, an example. It hides uh, information in mp3 files during the compression process. And the data is first compressed, encrypted and then hidden in the mp3 bit stream. Although mp3 stego was written with technographic applications in mind, it can be used as a copyright marking system for an mp3 file. This is one of the other use of this software. So what are the advantages of steganography? It can be used for safeguarding data such as in the field of media where copywriting ensures authenticity. It can be used by intelligence agency for sending their secret data. And the disadvantage of course is if there are people out there, ill-minded people, anti-humanist activities have been carried out, out under this or using this technique. So this is a disadvantage. Thank you so much. This was all about technography. Take care.